Make someone beg to see you, beg to be with you, spend time with you, enjoy your company and get the commitment you deserve and you desire. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, your miracle mentor and alchemy success coach. And oh yes, today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle. And we're always flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. High flyers 1111 is just around the corner. Now it's September already. So get registered for manifest your perfect destiny.com. Go to manifest your perfect destiny.com and register right now to get the money you desire the love that you crave and the health and happiness you deserve and depend on. We have people coming from all over the world. You need to join us. I'll be working with you for three days in beautiful Sedona, Arizona. And remember, if you are new to this channel, be sure and subscribe and click that bell icon because we're here almost every day to empower your life with new uplifting content on the law of attraction. So you have the unique ability, high flyers to make someone beg to see you literally beg to be with you, want to spend more time with you and eventually get the commitment you deserve and desire. Now it could be a specific person that you have in mind. It could be your ex, a new relationship. I don't believe in salvaging the old relationship. But how about a new relationship with the person that you love the most? Even someone that you know that you're going out with that uh, you'd like to have more attention from. It's all up to you. Whoever it is, you can do this. I had one couple high flyers that were divorced for five years and he used these techniques. And little by little, they started dating again, seeing each other, spending more time together, and they literally got remarried. So whoever it is, well, that's up to you. But keep in mind that that person, that special person, according to Neville Goddard, who is considered one of the fathers of the law of attraction, the modern day law of attraction, he says, Everyone is you pushed out. What that means is that everyone in your reality and everything is part of your reality. You have the power to change your reality. Therefore you change the person outside of you. Now it's not about taking control of their free will. It's about changing that person inside you, within your head, within your microcosm, as it's called. And according to the Emerald Tablet of Hermes, an ancient document that goes back long before ancient Egypt, as above, so below. In other words, what I hold in my mind, if I hold it there and I see it there and I believe it's there and I live it, it must manifest in the world in which I exist, the 3D world. So first stop trying to change things or get him or her to chase after you using games and 3D tactics because 3D tactics alone are usually not enough. Remember the law of attraction states that you attract what you are, not what you want. So by becoming, by becoming the reality that you desire to attract, you automatically draw it to you. High flyers. The interesting thing about this is, is you won't need, you won't need to know how this is going to manifest. People oftentimes say, Robert, tell me how this is going to manifest. You don't need to know. The universe is your partner. You're in partnership with the infinite, with God, with the eternal. So think about this. If you're the microcosm and the universe is the macrocosm, what you create here must be reflected out here 
and vice versa, but you don't need to know how soon your special person will be begging to see you spend time with you, take you places, do things together and provide you the commitment you deserve and you desire. You have the ability high flyers to create a vibrational attraction that is so powerful, that is so strong that the person that you desire will literally be begging to be with you, literally desire to spend more time with you. Now, high flyers, the law of attraction works because you begin to attract, you begin to pull into your life, the pictures and the feelings that you hold in your mind through belief. In other words, you create a new belief, no matter what you've believed up till now, you're going to create a new belief. And that belief is going to become so strong, so visual, so emotional that the universe is going to reflect it back to you in the 3d world. What you're going to do high flyers is you're going to create a picture in your mind of a snippet, a little small piece of time. Maybe the two of you on a Ferris wheel at a carnival, maybe the two of you eating dinner together, you know, at a little oceanside cafe, maybe the two of you taking a hike in the mountains, a little snippet, a little piece of time, and you're going to write it down. Yes. Take out a pen. Look at there's information. There's solid information and research that states when we write things down, we are more likely to attract them. So you're going to write it down in present tense. Now, high flyers, here's the cool thing about this soon, soon your fantasy that you are writing down will become your reality. Why? Because you are already living the life you desire with the one you desire in your mind with absolute certainty and belief. Now, first, let me give you a warning. High flyers. This is important. You cannot attract the one you desire by feeling wanting, needing, wishing, hoping, anxiety, anger, fear, doubt, pain. All of those emotions are not part of the reality that you're creating. The picture that you write down must be in present tense and it must be filled with happiness, joy, excitement, and love present tense. We are enjoying a beautiful meal at this little oceanside cafe. We are taking a beautiful hike together. We are, and in your visualization, when you write it down, write down how much he or she is just craving you, wanting to be with you, feeling emotional towards you and committing, committing to you. So the key things to do daily is to write it down. I like to get a nice little journal like this. And again, it only has to be a paragraph or so. As you write down what's taking place, your fantasy world, but it's not really a fantasy. It's a creation world. That's what it really is. It's your world of deliberate creation. As you do this, make certain that you include that he or she is calling you, texting you, writing you and wanting to commit to you. Now, high flyers, I like to get up in the morning after my morning routine and write it down then that way it's kind of in my subconscious throughout the day and it's working. And then when I go to bed at night, I have my journal. It's on my nightstand. Here it is. I pull it out. I open it up and I reread it before I fall asleep. That's very, very important. You want to reread your scripting before you fall asleep. That you want that to be the last thing on your mind as you drift off to sleep. And then your subconscious mind, it's going to do the work for you. It's going to adopt that belief. 
It's going to see those pictures. You're going to attract what you are, not what you want because you have already created it in your inner reality. You're going to sleep on it and you're going to manifest it. And guess what? The next day you're going to do it again. Now you're going to want to do this. You're going to want to do this about three to five days a week. Don't do it every single day. You can, but give yourself a break. Do it three to five days a week. Now here is the challenge. Every night when you read what you scripted, you start from the beginning. You just don't read what you scripted that morning. You read all of it. Remember high flyers. This is not something that you try. This is something you do. See it, believe it and receive it. They will soon be begging to see you be with you and give you the commitment you deserve and desire. Remember to subscribe and click that bell icon. Here's some other videos to help you on your journey.